This is Dr. Carl Martin, the superintendent for Athens City Schools, in his office atop the Board of Education Executive Offices in the Plains. It is here that all of the planning is done for the upcoming school levy that will be on the November 6th ballot. Dr. Martin said that the levy, called an emergency operating levy, is a necessity after the economic instability of recent years, and also Governor Kasich's balancing of the budget through slashing of state public school assistance. So we have been aggressive in reducing our budget uh, over two million dollars a year in the last two years. And this levy uh, does provide 13 percent of our general fund budget uh, and it is certainly necessary for us to be able to continue to pay our bills. Detailed on this whiteboard in Dr. Martin's office, one can begin to see the depth of cuts that will have to occur, broken down by individual schools. Dr. Martin said that each school will be equally negatively affected if the levy does not pass certainly have to look at the whole budget to see where they could uh, and, uh, reduce uh, probably in the neighborhood of another uh, two three million dollars uh, and we have uh, closed an elementary school uh, this year this year this is Chansey Elementary School the school that Dr. Martin said was closed this year due to lack of funding a move that saved $1 million in the budget. After already closing Chansey and other cost-cutting measures, it is now up to Athens City voters on November 6th to determine the future of Athens' public school system. Without the levy, Martin said the Board of Education will ask for an emergency summer levy ballot to make up for more than 2 to $3 million worth of cuts that most likely will have to occur.